If anyone needs an example of what a proactive parliamentary representative should look like, look no further than Clarence Carmichael Abit. His name may not be familiar to many, as he was born in Calcutta in 1884 and died at his home in Charlieville in 1952. But he contested the 1946 general election, the first under universal adult suffrage, as a candidate for the Socialist Party of Trinidad and Tobago. And, as MP for the County of Carony, C.C. Abid was a shining model of what a caring community leader should be. You had poor drainage, you had flooding everywhere. Now he introduced drain, a proper drainage system. In fact, the drain, as I told you, is on, on Carrie Savannah Road. He had it, he had it um, with box drain from Pier Road to the Kunupia River. So that, is, that solved the, the, the flooding problem in the area. He took an active part in agriculture. He was the president of the Agricultural Society in Charlieville. So he negotiated loans and so on for the farmers. Now he was um, also president of the Rice Growers Association. That's a national organization, but the one in Charlieville, he was responsible for that too. Um, he took, well, uh, took an active part in road, good roads in the area, housing, because I think he was a member of the housing authority in those days. So well, he was a man in, in every single thing you think about, you, the name Abed will come up. Well, I, he taught me in school. And um, he was a very strict teacher. If you don't obey him once, twice, the third time is like they beat you for all the first and second time too as well. I know as a principal at Charlieville, CMI school. In those days, it was not Presbyterian school. It was called CMI school. That is catering for the Canadian mission, the Indian population. So he came as a teacher at the Charlieville CMI school, where he worked, and then he became principal at the same school. That is not too far from here. And then, well, um, as far as the community is concerned, he, he was responsible for that green you see on the eastern side of his home here. That was built somewhere in the 1940s. He was responsible for having water in Charlieville. Yeah, and he took an active part in the religious aspect of Charlieville. Um, he, like the communities, when, the, when anybody in the community um, were involved in any sort of uh, on social activities then, crime and so on, he would get them together and speak to them. In fact, he introduced the panchayat system in Charlieville. He was the major player in that aspect of it. Following the 46 elections, C.C. Abid was invited by the Governor General to join the Executive Council as one of four elected legislators. Apart from his parliamentary duties, he also was a teacher for over 45 years, served voluntarily on almost every local board, and was involved in many other organizations. He was a member of all the boards you could think about in Trinidad, agriculture, water, road, you just name it. He was a man of, of many, you know, faceted kind of person. In everything you think about, he was there, religious, social, cultural, uh, educational, he was married twice, and one of his daughters, Stella Piari Abid, is purported to be the first ever qualified East Indian woman doctor in Trinidad and Tobago. Another of C.C. Abid's enduring legacies that sports fans would recognize easily today is Comet's Cricket Club, of which he was a founder and organizer. One thing I remembered very well, um, he took an active part in sporting activities. In fact, the Comet's, Recreation, Comet's Cricket Club today was founded by Mr. Abed in 1928 or so. I think that was the time. And now I didn't know about those days, eh? but I know where the cricket ground was. In fact, I frequented the cricket ground. It was just about 200 feet away from where I lived. So I frequented the cricket ground. And that comet is up to today, still there is now about 80 years now that they're in existence. And it's a top team in the community, well known internationally. Teacher, trade unionist, agriculturist, politician, and altruist, he was still a villager at heart and always wore a kurta. You see, in those days, you had very few educated people, and I think that is one of the things. He, being a principal, uh, you know, he was highly educated in compared to people now, in those days and now. And um, he took part in every single thing. He had a farm, I should tell you that. He had a large farm in Chinchin, Kunupia. So he was also highly, going to say, well in, 
involved in agricultural affairs. Late one evening on January 27, 1952, the enigmatic Clarence Carmichael Abid was shot and killed by a masked gunman as he sat in his own living room, a crime that was never solved. He served only one term in office, but his enormous contributions to country and community are still to be seen today and never should be forgotten. Community work, he built some road and so on, and there's a road down the cemetery road, they call it the Abid Road. They put a name of the road after him because he was such a good man. He was one of the most benevolent character you could ever meet in this country. I, I, I hardly believe there's anybody who could fit in his shoes in the present time. He was, as a human being, he was a very good person. <laughs> 